today I was going to show you what's in my emergency kit. What's in my emergency kit? Okay, there's so many videos like this on YouTube, but I think the kid doesn't want to take a purse to the bathroom with him. So cute. And I got this for zero dollars at a yard sale. So all this stuff I had at my house. Everything was free that I have in here and one thing I don't carry makeup in my emergency kit that is in my separate makeup bag video which I will make next making like four videos today it's just taking a long time oh, no. okay so I'll set everything out for you okay so I put everything in Ziploc baggies so it would be much easier to find and then the bigger stuff is and in any baggies. And I also keep candy in here to kind of keep me awake. Uh, and anything that has a lid that may come open, you may just want to uh, put that in a baggie too. Okay, first things first, this is the purse. It has handles. I got this for zero dollars at a yard sale. It's really cute. And there's a zipper on the top. No pockets on the inside. But the thing is, you want to have this like cloth that's kind of shiny on the inside it's not soft so if anything does spill it's easier to wipe it okay so hold on one second ah. IMAX are hard okay so an overview of all my stuff I have this bag which has feminine products my deodorant hair things oh hold on my hair things my tiny little uh bath and body works um winter candy apple um pocket bag then i have some like i have wisps band-aids uh cough drops neosporin and floss in this one so and i have socks these are supposed to be mismatch, by the way, from Journeys. Some Kleenex, uh, bottle caps because they're fizzy and they'll wake you up, and then an elf mirror. Um, and that all fits in here. If you have a big enough bag, you can buy either buy one of those like circle things where you like pop the brush up and smear. That works awesome. Or you can buy one of these mini travel size ones really small. It's about a little bit bigger than my uh, full-size deodorant, which I will get little, uh, for mainly for, I tried to find a littler kind, but I didn't have any here. And like I said, all this stuff was at my house already, so I didn't want to go shopping at all. Okay, so first I have these Kleenexes. It comes in a tiny little box, like a tiny little thing like this. And these are really helpful because, you know, you need Kleenexes. And some, they don't have, like, tissues in the bathroom. And they don't really have tissues in the classroom when you're in middle school. So these are awesome. And these are awesome, too, if you need to get away any smudges or anything. So these. And then I have two things of bottle caps because I love bottle caps. Also, they are really kind of fizzy. And so, if you're feeling tired in the morning and you just need a wake-up call, pop in some bottle caps. Then I have this elf mirror. It should be able to fit one. Hold on. It's really hard to open. It's like this. Again. Then it has this little thing to help you open it in the back. And then my... Little brush, it's from Conair. And it Conair and it has the little grip. It's really nice and it's pink. Because I love pink. Next I have this pocket bag. It's winter candy apple. It's from Bad and ba Bath and Body Works. And it was one one dollar and fifty cents. And it smells amazing. Next I have these socks because you never know when you're going to need some socks. If gym or something like that. These are supposed to be a mismatch, 
These are glow in the dark socks. <laughs> and then you just roll them up really small so they'll fit real nicely. You can even tie them with a hair tie. I don't, but. And if you, I mean, if you don't wear the socks, you replace them every once in a while. Okay, and then is this the buff baggie? I have my hair things and all that good stuff. So I have um, a travel bottle full of hair detangler. Then I have an emery board, which is where it fits. And then I have some bobby pins and a little clip. And then I have some hair, two hair ties and a scrunchie. And it's all in the Ziploc snack bag. So if something spills in here, all this stuff is protected. Uh, same with this. Um, this has a wisp in it, which are really awesome. I love these things. If you ever go in school and your breath smells horrible, then you can just, you know, take a thing. And cough drops, you know why you need those. Your throat hurts. If your school doesn't let you have them, then, then you guess you don't have them. Band-Aid, because uh, you'll get paper cuts and... You don't want to walk all the way to the nurse just for, to get a band-aid. And then some Neosporin because some schools make you carry it around. And some floss because you don't want to have something stuck in your teeth after lunch. And then go sit next to your crush in biology or something. Okay, this little bag came with a purse and in comparison, the same. <laughs> Anyway, here's my cell phone, it's Samsung Intensity 2, it fits very nicely in there. Okay, some tampons and some pads in there and some panty liners. Okay, and then last thing is a full-size deodorant for me. You can get a travel size, which is much more functional and it would fit a lot better. Hold on, okay, this has to go on the top for me or else it, and nothing will fit. So, to kind of figure out what, how you put these in. Okay, and also the Ziploc baggies make it really easy because I kind of sorted them, you know, with stuff you may use together, like the floss, the whisk, the band-aids, and the hauls. Those are all, like, kind of medical and, like, um, yeah, those are all medical kind of stuff. Or, uh... Like bodily. And then a hair stuff and emery board, you know. That's just that. And the Kleenexes are just like mandatory. You have to have those. And then and my uh, little panty liners bag. It came with a purse. So a lot of purses do. Most value in a purse is when it comes with more than just the purse. So kind of look for that when you're shopping. I know there's just that purse that doesn't come with anything, but it's to die for and you have to get it. But like, if you're going to get a purse that you're going to use every day, and you're not going to get like a really expensive, like, you're probably gonna get something from like, I don't know, I get most of my purses from all over, so. Ah, tackle that baby. And that has a really cute thing. And you want to keep the panty liners and the tampons and the pads in a separate little container that is not see-through. So if ha things happen to fall out, nothing will show and everything will, everyone will just think it's a wallet or something. <laughs> That's your hall pass in it or something. Um, you do have a hall pass, get a little clip wallet and clip it to the zipper or something of the purse you carry around all the time. The one that has like the see-through front so you can just show it and don't have to take it out. And then, hold on, it's my makeup bag, which is a different video, because this video is already nine minutes. So everything fits in a small little purse and it has rounded sides, there's peace signs all over it, and it has a handle, which is really good. So you always want to have the handle looks more uh, feminine stuff. You wouldn't want to carry it around like this. <laughs> looks like a tiny little bag that has the folding chair in it. And anyway, 
so uh subscribe and watch my videos <laughs> bye happy tuesday and monday and wednesday and